Today, some of us more often ask ourselves, what does this product contain? But there are others who just grab something from the counter without considering in detail the brand of biscuits they will eat today. So now, I will show you how to find out everything about your food and drink for minutes in a very simple way. Content of the label According to the regulation of the Food Safety Ordinance, each label must contain 12 components, which are Name of the food, accompanied by its physical state or specific processing, for example, refrozen, smoked, powdered, thawed, unfrozen, irradiated, etc. List of ingredients A list of ingredients and substances causing allergies or intolerances. Quantity of certain ingredients Net quantity, weight of the food Minimum shelf life or expiry date, which must be printed on the package slash delta ink not additionally glued, as shown on the label on the slide. Special conditions of storage or use The name or business, trade name and address of the business entity in the food industry. Country of origin or place of origin. Instructions for use Nutritional value all that we have talked about so far refers to the labels of spirit drinks as well respectively, if it is possible, and of course, after we add that the label of spirit drinks over 1.2% alcohol by volume indicates the actual volume of the product. Whether you will buy drinking water, eat biscuits or even an apple read the label because you do not believe it, do you? But it is a fact that even the water you drink has a label. A label you should read because it contains important information about water composition anions and cations. But also at the bottom of the bottle you can find a special symbol for the type of plastic used for making the bottle. One pet, used for polyester fibers, plastic bottles for non-alcoholic beverages. Two pet used for plastic bottles, plastic bags, waste bins, wood imitation. Three PVC used for doors and windows. Bottles for chemicals, floor covering, transparent foil. 4 Pell Door LDP used for plastic buckets, bottles for liquid soap, hose and pipes. 5 PP is used for plastic bowls and utensils, car bumpers, internal car covering, industrial fibers. 6 BS used for plastic blades and utensils, toys, flower pots, ashtrays, video cassettes. 7 O Thurs used for durable kindergarten and kitchen utensils of melamin, including designer ones. We are already aware of the biscuits and the water. But what label can be put on fruit? For example, some small stickers with a code as shown. 5-digit code beginning with 9, limited. 4-digit code beginning with 4, conventional. 5-digit code starting with 8, GMO product. So, the next time when you buy an apple from the store, be very careful. Legislation slash normative ordinance The decision to amend the food labeling rules was taken on October 25, 2011 and came into force on 12 December 2011 and has been in effect since then. It had to be enforced by each member country until December 13, 2014 at the latest. They all had three years to get acquainted with them, but we were surprised again. There is only an exception to the provisions obliging the indication of nutritional values on the labels, which will come into force on December 13, 2016. The new regulation, EU, No. 1169-2011, the entire document is available here in Bulgarian language, urlex.europa.eu, replaces Directive 2013, EC regarding labeling and Directive 9496. EC in connection with information concerning nutritional values, as well as other related directives and regulations. Here are the main questions and answers that everyone is excited about, who must comply with the new regulation. The regulation applies to all foods intended for the final consumer, including food intended for or supplied by catering establishments. The last encompasses any structure, including a vehicle, a mobile stall or a stationary counter such as restaurants, canteens, schools, hospitals or catering establishments, where food is prepared to be ready for consumption by the final consumer.
An interesting point is that the regulation affects even the advertising of products by completely prohibiting giving medicinal properties and other characteristics to foods. Novelties The information about the presence of food additives and other substances or products with a scientifically proven allergenic or intolerance effect is novelty. This is done in order to enable consumers, especially those suffering from food intolerance or allergies, to make informed and safe for their health choices. These substances or products are in the list of ingredients with their exact names, the layout of which clearly distinguishes them from the other ingredients, for example, in a different font, size or color. The special constituents contained in the food should be labeled with the name of their category followed by their specific name. The information referred to above must be available, easily accessible and indelible. The height of the symbols, see example, on packages and labels must be greater than or equal to 1.2 mm. Exceptions are packs the largest surface area of which is less than 80 square centimeters. In this case the height of the symbol should be greater than or equal to 0.9 mm. It is also important that the name, net quantity and alcohol strength by volume should be in one field of vision, e on one and the same surface of the package, allowing reading from one viewing angle. The information must be given in a language that is easy to understand for the country where the product is offered. Does the regulation apply when selling food online? Yes. The regulation applies to online sales. In this case, the compulsory elements, without the expiry date, are provided before signing the sale purchase contract. This information should be reflected in the material accompanying the distance selling, website or catalog, or by other appropriate means. This requirement is not only applicable to food sold through food vending machines. Who is responsible for the compliance with the rules? The responsibility for the information on the label lies with the manufacturer of the foodstuff concerned. In case the manufacturer is beyond the boundaries of the EU, the importer is held responsible. I did a little online research by asking the general public the following question. Do you read the labels of the products you buy? Question mark before the changes that have been made and now when the topic of the label content is becoming more and more popular. As we notice the results are striking but it is a fact. For our great satisfaction the trend is positive. Eat healthy, read the label to know if it really is bio.